This coming Wednesday, we have the fifth release of Home Assistant, that is the May release of 2025. So let's look at what is coming up. Firstly, backup configurations were revamped in January and February release and has some new additions to it. In this release, we will be able to configure a custom retention policy per storage option. That is, you can decide if you want to have 10 backups on local storage or say 3 backups on Google Drive. In the configuration section, you can set if you want to use global settings, forever or custom retention policy. I also have Google Drive integration, but I currently don't see the option yet. Maybe they would be available in the final release. Next, if you are running Home Assistant OS and when you get an update, then starting from this release, you will get this option that will allow you to take backup before upgrading your Home Assistant OS. This way, you can be sure you have a backup before an upgrade. Next, when you upgrade parts of Home Assistant, you are presented with this option to take backups. Now with immense feedback, some folks didn't want to take backups, some folks did want to take backups, and some folks wanted to rely on the automated backups and didn't want to be bothered before an upgrade. So now in this release, you can set this preference in the backup settings page if you want to skip or take backups before an upgrade. One more small little addition in this release is that while the backup is in progress, a restart operation would wait while the backup is being taken. This will prevent situations where backup is in progress which would be interrupted by a restart in the previous release. Next, if you are a Home Assistant Cloud subscriber, then you will get access to about thousands of text-to-speech voice variants. That means you can choose between quite many voice tones ranging from friendly to whisper allowing you to customize your announcement. Nice! Now when we choose entities, say while filling up a dashboard card or an automation, it's usually difficult to know to which device it belongs to. Like take for example, temperature entities can come from various devices, but it becomes difficult to choose the right one unless you choose to rename it based on the device. Now in this release, we have more information around it. That is, we get to see the area as well as the device it is originating from, which is so much helpful to navigate between entities with the same name. Now if you are using Z-Wave devices, then we have some enhancements to the Z-Wave integration. This includes support for Z-Wave smart scan to scan QR codes to add devices to Home Assistant and also support for Z-Wave long range devices. Next we have quite some new integrations from our awesome Home Assistant community members who have put in a lot of efforts to provide these integrations. In this, we have a new Amazon S3 integration to use S3 as a backup location for your Home Assistant backups. Also, we have some improvements in the existing integrations like the ability to subscribe to your own YouTube channel. On that note, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Next, we have a few integrations that have reached platinum, silver and bronze level depending on the quality of the integration. In this list, I see ESP Home part of the platinum level. Next, if you are good at editing in YAML, say in automations or action, as soon as you type double braces, the whole view changes to YAML code. Now in this release, when you add those braces, it only changes that portion allowing you to add some YAML code. This is pretty cool and helpful if you are dealing with writing some custom YAML code. Next, if you want to see what Home Assistant is seeing from your network, then we now have some browsing tools for DHCP, MDNS, etc. This is a little more technical, but you can find these tools in your system settings under the network section. Now all these changes are part of the beta release and there may be changes in the final release. Now, if you like to see such updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Now, if you want, you can support me via Patreon or you can just buy me a coffee. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.